obviously everyone's getting at 10 three it's okay we're not gonna make a mistake we'll just grind you guys out just have patience not a big fan of the runaround forehand and dinking you're all the way off the court the only way McGuffin gets away with it is because he has such good control low dinks and that was just teed off okay great job this is obviously the final point of the match let's back this on up and see where this one breaks down because it gets a little bit interesting I'm not going to back it up all the way Garnett's doing a lot of really heavy lifting he's getting a lot of air over it and McGuffin's just kind of like okay I'm just going to wait till you lift one too much and it seems like when Yeah, well, Alshon steps in and takes a ball that he shouldn't, and he actually sped this up. He didn't just take it. He sped that ball up and then moves back to get out of the way. There's a lot wrong there. Okay, so here's one thing. If you're going to lean in, I think actually McGuffin has a saying, and multiple other people do, like, if you can't take the heat, get out of the kitchen. But it's more specifically that if you – can't take the, the speed, don't speed it up. And when you speed something up and then you step back and get out of the way, that means you, you're you instinctively, your brain subconsciously saying, man, I this ball's going to come back quick and I'm not ready. So you shouldn't speed it up if you can't just get low and be ready to get in an actual hands battle. And so this is just a bad decision. You're taking a ball below the net. At impact of this ball, Alshon has really long arms, but this, we're going to say he just caught it enough that it's technically a yellow ball. The ball's right here. It's technically a yellow ball, but it's a very low yellow ball. And then it's once again on his backhand side. And so we still don't even know if that was going to stay in based on the trajectory, but McGuffin's not going to wait for that. He's going to bring... It, he's he's hitting down. He just look at that. He's impacting the ball at his shoulder. He's getting to hit down so hard, and then it's basically anything that these guys can do to try and keep the ball in. But the big mistake here is definitely on Alshon reaching into a ball that's not his ball, which we talked about before. Is what is your job right here? What is your job? Your job is to be a blocker. That's not much of a block. See how he steps over. Right here, Alshon's job is to defend the line. So he's this is his job. And as you can see, uh, Garnett is a little bit off the line because he's the workhorse. So that's correct positioning. And so when the ball, as we talked about, numerous numerous times just in this video when the ball is traveling at this trajectory whose ball is it it's your teammate's ball unless you're going to get a green ball pop-up which means above your shoulder contact you should let your partner decide is he taking it out of the air is he going to let it bounce is he going to get time now should you be ready to attack at all times 100 percent but reaching into a ball that is a low yellow ball and speeding it up with your backhand is just a recipe for disaster, and you're going to lose the majority of those points.